Alright, so in this video we're going to take a look at the triangles shelf and what we can do with it. So, first of all, we can have some operations here, like the triangle edit. For example, let me create a cube. It has some strange parameters here, but if you click on the triangle edit, you can see I have a lot of triangles here and this is not very you know, comfortable to work with. If you hold shifts, you can select the triangles and you can move them if you want. You can accept. So this is basically the same operation we had before with the polygroups and the transform. It's just so that we operate in a triangle level. So let's say I want to optimize this mesh. What I have here is simplify. Now you can already see what it does. It simplifies my mesh. Let me do it some. Create some more geometry here. So I will go to my deform tab and tap in remesh. And you will see I have much more triangles here. And then I will go to my triangles and go to a triangle edit. So you will see what it does here. And you have different type of simplifiers, like normal average or UE4 standard. Just try to find whatever works for you. And you can put a percentage. Let's let's say I want 50% reduction or I want 15%. 15. I want to have a total of 15. 100% will be the same as we have before. No changes. So you can play with what percentage of triangles you want. And you can also specify like that triangle count, like how many triangles you want. You want, I don't know, 20, 30, 50, 200. So depending on how many triangles you want, you can change this number. So you also have the edge constraints, which we will go deeper into a later video when we will explore these tools individually, how you can do more specific examples to create things that you can actually use in your game. So the next thing is Remesh. Of course, this is the same one. You can see that Remesh here is also on the Deform tab. If you don't see it, make sure your tab is here. Just drag it and then you go to the Triangles, Remesh and you just have different options, right? You took a look at that before and this is, this is the Triangle shelf is very very simple now you have the edit mat so for this one I'm going to have some materials here so I have some mega scans and let's just say I will use let's check my surfaces here let's say I have this okay so I have my material and I have I want to have another material here so what I want to do is to go to my edit mats and you can see I have my material here this is the first one I can also add another one here and let me look in the browser something very evident like this one all right so what I can do is select for example these parts and I can click here my selected material let's say ID 1 and then what I'm gonna do here is go down to the material edits and click on assign selected material uh, here you can see I have changed the material I'm using here just by doing that and this can be very useful so if you go to edit materials you can change like the type of connection you want for example angle filter you can change the angle like let's say 30 and you can select all these surfaces here and very easily create your selection select that material you want and click assign selected material and this is how you can edit materials here now the other thing you can do is to weld edges so right now all this mesh is weld so Let's just try to create something more simple, like a like a sphere. All right. 
So if I go here and I go to my triangles, I can select those and I can separate triangles or disconnect triangles. So I will disconnect the triangles. All right. So now my mesh haven't changed, but actually this part is disconnected from the whole mesh. And the reason I know this is if I go to whole fill, you can see I have my holes here. And if I go to select and then select by all connected, I click on this one, you will see I select the connected meshes. And then of course I can move them or delete them if I want. But if I want to weld the edges, I just need to click here. This is my threshold and you will see I have a preview of what's going to be weld. Click accept. And then when I go to my whole field, there is no holes to fill here. That's very, very useful. And the last thing is the whole fill. So let's create, let's do some operations here. Let's create a, a primitive and let's do some deformations here. For example, I want to inset this one and then I want to move it and then I want to extrude it out. All right, so I have some basic geometry and then what I want to do is go to my triangles, go on to select and let's select by angle. Let's click selection, angle and just go here. Okay, just click again, select, select by angle. You can see I can select all of this. I can put 45. All right, so I will delete this part and I, I will also go to this part and I will delete it. So now I have some open faces here and the whole field, if you can see here, I can uh, see two red lines, two groups. One is here and another one is here. So what I can do is just fill this out. For example, I click on this and I automatically fill it. And you can see I already have the UVs automatically. It will do a planar projection and it will apply the UVs. Not the same as they had before, but you know, you used to have something to start with. Okay. Another thing you can do with a hole fill is just to select all of them and you will fill automatically all the holes of your meshes. So the algorithm, it can change. So you can change to different types of algorithms that will give you a different result here minimal smooth depends on what you want and you can play with all the settings uh, minimal sounds like the best option of course the default options are always the best and yeah so once you accept there will be any hole if you click here you will see this mesh has no holes to fill so this is the triangle tab it's quite useful it's very specific you can modify the triangles in a very specific way to modify the material weld the edges some kind of modeling operations also i will recommend using the polygroups and some remesh and simplify functions so if you like this video give us a like subscribe share it with someone you think it will be useful and just i'll see you in the next one subscribe to check more videos like this and let us know in the comments what kind of video you wanna you wanna watch and we may do a tutorial about it